Yo, what is going on guys, Sox here. I just uploaded this video where I called Fidelity and spoke with them and pretty much what they said is that if you have a short position on APE prior to this upcoming conversion of APE preferred equity units into AMC common shares, the short position has to be closed, aka shorts have to cover on a prior to this conversion. What is going on guys? My name is Otter Sox. Today we are going to be going over the AMC Ape conversion, exactly what Adam Aaron said, exactly what AMC just has done, what is going to be up to shareholders and what is the right move to do, will this cause a squeeze, etc, etc. I woke up and there was just absolute chaos going on. Discord, Twitter, YouTube, everything going off for me. Yo, what's going on? What is this? What is that? What is this? What is that? I look at the share price, Ape up 70%. I start freaking out. I'm like, what the fuck? Brush my teeth, start digging into it. Ultimately, we're going to get into it right now. Sorry for that long intro. But guys, all I ask in return is for you to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get into it. So Adam Aaron tweeted this, such important AMC news. We succeeded in raising another 110 million of equity capital. That's 272 million of new cash in 90 days. Also arranged to get 100 million of debt converted into AMC equity at a substantial discount. AMC is in a much stronger cash position and he uses that same hashtag, hashtag choke on that, hopefully referring to the short sellers. Now this is the actual filing right here and there's three main things that are takeaways from this. So AMC raises 110 million of new equity capital through the sale of Ape units to Antara Capital LP at a weighted average price of 66 cents a share. The Ape closed price on NYSE December 21st 2022 was 68 cents now if we go over here to look who actually he sold these to who he's selling these ape shares to who is making this all possible in Terra capital I'm actually starting to like this right so what I see the key takeaways from them is they go beyond the traditional hedge fund approach to fundamental credit and equity investing with creative trade structuring and mitigate downside and maximize upside. So off rip, they don't do what the traditional hedge fund does. Next, they demonstrate fluidity and expertise in options and other derivative instruments that many funds are not comfortable utilizing. So this is that one capital doing the opposite of hedge funds and kind of giving them the upper hand saying, you won't do this, we're going to do it and we're going to show you how it's done. So off rip, I already like how this is starting. Next, AMC reduces debt by 100 million principal amount of second lien notes due 2026 currently held by Antara Exchange for approximately 91 million APE units. This 100 million principal debt reduction reduces annual interest expense by approximately 10 million. And finally, the boom bang bow what everybody has been waiting for, AMC seeks a special shareholder meeting to vote on the following AMC board of directors proposals to convert APE units into AMC common shares, to reverse split the number of AMC common shares at a one to one ratio. Now, real quick, Adam Aaron also tweeted this. He goes, also apes worked exactly as intended to let us raise needed cash, buyback debt, explore M and A, but a huge discount in ape market price versus common stock must be addressed. We'll hold a shareholder vote. It's time to convert ape preferred into AMC common to eliminate that discount. So Adam Aaron reiterates it and he goes over that ape is at a discount. This must be addressed and now it is time, he says, it is time to convert a preferred into AMC common to eliminate that discount. He closes it off with also a company as distinguished as AMC shouldn't let Wall Streeters pushing us harm drive us to being a penny stock. So in the shareholder vote, you also can consider a one to 10 reverse stock split. Simple arithmetic. If approved, the share count goes down. So the price goes up. Now, remember, this is to reverse split the number of AMC common shares at a one to one ratio. So this isn't for ape. Now I wrote this down real quick, just so I wouldn't forget it and kind of had to do the calculations. So if a reverse stock split is at a one to 10 ratio, that would mean 516 million, which is the free float size, the number of shares outstanding, multiplied by 10 because it's a reverse split, would be around 5 billion, give or take, in outstanding shares. But AMC's price would sit at about $45, assuming it would be at 450 before the conversion. But if APE is converted to AMC first at a 1 to 1 ratio, assuming, right, and then had the 1 to 10 reverse split, this would mean Ape sitting at a dollar added to AMC's 450 would now be 550. So the share price would sit around $55, give or take post split with shares outstanding size of around 10 billion. Now, with that being said, 
if you sold ape it's perfectly fine guys just sit back just relax just watch now if you did not sell ape you made a very bold move a very solid move in trusting adam aaron not caring about this dilution not caring about your uh piece of amc being split what's happening here is shorts have to cover on ape which is very interesting and, and something to take away we're going to talk about that in a second but secondly right you're buying ape assuming it's at a one-to-one -one ratio uh post conversion post split you're buying AMC right now necessarily at a dollar and 18 cents. Now, if nobody is buying Ape right now, I would have absolutely no idea why. Ape is up 71% with the short interest that was sitting around 7%, give or take. But here's what's interesting, right? The on balance volume indicator. They know that retail pays hard, hard attention to this. And in my opinion, they found some sort of way to manipulate it. The price spiked on Ape extremely. But the OBV dumped, right? So what this, the only thing that this could mean is that shorts covered on this while people were selling. Otherwise, there's there's no other way uh, that the price would spike with the OBV dropping. So if that is the case, which would be the smart thing for short sellers to do, because at the set at the start of this news, they would want to cover before retail buys all these shares up, because then they would be essentially fucked. So if shorts didn't get out right now. I would be surprised. In my opinion, shorts probably got out or are getting out today on Ape. As soon as that news hit, they are getting out. It would be the smart thing to do. However, the OBV not going up is very interesting to me because what retail investor would not buy Ape at $1.18 to have it converted over to AMC, which is a 4 to $5 stock? It doesn't make any sense to me. So if you guys have knowledge on this, you let me know in the background. Currently, AMC short interest is at 19.3%, and Ortex is reporting the cost to borrow is not applicable. They won't show you the average, they won't show you the max, they won't show you the minimum, which is interesting because the last thing we saw on Stonko Tracker was a jump in cost to borrow, 50.6%, and no shares available to borrow. So the fact that Ortex is now pulling this bullshit on us is just interesting. Again, short interest was at 6.7% on Ape, which I completely don't buy. There was 43 million failure to delivers day one. Um, if that's the short interest, it's the short interest. However, they may or may not have covered synthetics. Do they have to? I do believe so. And the reason I do believe so is because with a reverse split, there will be a change in the QCIP number, I believe. There has to be. And with both of things, both of these happening, we talked about it with COSM. I, I believe it may or may not force naked shorts out of the position but it all has to be done at the same exact time as for the cost to borrow on ape it's the same thing not applicable not, not applicable not applicable not applicable now to close out the video amc was halted twice a limit up limit down halt 9 40 a.m 9 35 a.m eastern standard and ape was also halted at 9 40 a.m eastern standard of course we know the crime still happens we've seen stocks run thousands of percents without getting halted but of course amc and ape is getting halted the one key takeaway is that we just made a huge step in the right direction shout out to adam aaron with that being said i wanted to let you know that I personally will be voting yes on this conversion. If you think I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. We can talk it out. Just stay positive. Don't be coming at me crazy. If you have valid reasons why you should vote no, please let me know in the comments. We'll bounce back and forth. Again, guys, we are all a team. We are all a community. But from what I know, Ape and AMC have been being pushed into the ground and we've waited for some big move like this to happen. So as of now, my vote will be going yes. Guys, use my link. I'm going to leave it in the comments and in the description. If you download Moomoo on your phone or computer, you're going to get up to 20 free stocks and a chance to win $60,000. All you have to do is deposit even a penny into your account. As long as Moomoo receives a deposit, you're going to get these benefits. So again, I saw a bunch of you signed up and deposited but some of you didn't even deposit that penny into your account so you really signed up for no reason when you could get these free benefits again guys that will be linked down below and pinned in the top of comments for you it takes five minutes to do so you will get free level two order book data your money is fdic insured so nothing will ever happen to it and there is a ton more benefits to this commission free trading platform so again guys use my link please share the video subscribe to the channel i hope you've taken value out of the video i research edit and upload these just for you guys for free so all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and like it takes two seconds i love you all lottery socks out